Okay, those are our final modifications. Let's put it back in and be done with this panel. All right, we got this new one um, from Aqua Hot. They overnighted it with $60 uh, for their setup, which is nice. And it's all labeled and everything, so it works. So we're just taking up the independent on the burner. The burner needs to clear itself for three minutes after it's done burning and so if you had some sort of power failure you need to have an independent uh, power source so that it can continue that purge so we're hooking that up right now and then we'll get this switch in and then I think we're ready to hook up the whole aqua hot and be done with this thing so on the high low switch on the harness here there's a green wire and a yellow wire that we need to plug in and that will turn our fans on high or low. So we'll make this one here to have dual jumpers from there like that. Yes. And two. So here's the old one if you want it, give me a buzz. This now will go one here. And that one will jump from the bottom of the high low switch. And this one will plug in where it was on the electric power switch. So I guess we'll just put this all together in here. I haven't even checked to see if this is going to fit. And voila! It doesn't fit. So it needs just a minuscule amount. Cut off the sides to get it in there. Because why, why not? <sighs> this is how far I'm off to get that to fit. I mean, literally, just a flea hair. So I'm going to get that out. All right, there we go. See a little better? Dirty everywhere. This is in reason so I need to get the wiring harness the just these two are the only two that will plug into this high and low on the back side and it needs to be spliced in so I'm gonna do that right now make sure that everything else is hooked back up on my um, other power lines because it's getting tight in here every time I open this so we're gonna splice this into this and then this will just plug right into that like that something like that either way it might be the other way around I don't know but I'll put it in and then I'll show you what we got all right so here we are all buttoned up we got the green coming in yellow for our wiring harness and our large jumper done so let's move on so one of my absolute favorite parts of the new um, the new Victron setup that we've got going on is the um, ability to come in here, go down to my Quattro, and go to my charging switch. So pay attention over here. This is my two legs of power. I can just go here and turn off the transfer switch, and it shuts the whole thing off. I, I love that, that I don't have to go down and, and do all that and unplug it just to get in here to work a little bit. So, um, so we're going to get inside and get this all ready to go that you see you uh, and put these um, 
these things where they need to go. Hook them all up. I hope I got this right. We'll see. Let me just do this and then I'll show you what I've done. All right, so we're all in here, plugged in. Switches run to our different zones. And this is in, so now we need to just plug this in. But I need to open this up first and plant those someplace. So let me do that. All right, a couple of these need to go up. So this is our negative. thermostats which will actually just go to one thermostat and then that thermostat will control the entire cabin heat and turn off and on via switches in zones so when we're sleeping I can turn off the main cabin or whatever but I want to put this in a place it's not going to be in the way. Maybe like this. Yep, like that. Back in here. And this side. I got one more. see here I want this to be easy kind of already hooked up and they will just come right out there to meet our two wire there we start. so the nest was fun and a fun idea my wife hates it um, it doesn't really work for us 
because we live in Texas, the heat and the cold, all that stuff changes on an hourly by hour brace basis. So the nest can't keep up or figure it out. So I've ordered a, a round two wire and it'll just, just for heating. And then air conditioning, we either run off of this or we just flip a switch on here. Because they're slow start, they don't, the compressor doesn't snap off, so they work fine. Okay, those are all hooked up, plugged in. I'm going to plug a thermostat in and then plug these in, and we're done. Uh, power is going to come in. Yeah, sweet. So these need to be plugged in now. There we go. So that's hooked up. Let's screw it down. And we're going to take our positive and negative legs here and plug them in. So before that, I actually need to hook up. A neutral line that I have in here to my neutral bus. I haven't done that yet. Let me do that real quick. Oh, those are the box fans, right? You have to just open. So what we're about to do should only just take a second. Got some fuel line here. And we're just going to hook it up.